Simon O'Connor. Speaker, I'm pleased to stand to speak to this third reading of the Budget Measures Miscellaneous Fiscal Measures Bill, which has now, of course, been split out into several bills. I think we're hearing a strong contrast here between the government's approach uh, and the approach of the opposition's. We are a party, a government that believes in the market. And it's most basic, it is that we produce what other people want. We've heard a lot of talk about logs and raw logs and added value. Thing is that if there was a demand and drive for added valued uh, wood products, there would be a market for it. Not an arbitrary decision by Moana Mackey and friends to just back it. And you've got this funny contradiction that's been going on here today as well about supposedly the government backing winners and losers. Yet if you've listened, if you've listened to the other side, they are choosing who they want to back as winners and losers. And we know from supposed, supposed policy announcement they effectively want to nationalise too the electricity industry. They don't believe that you can choose, say, in areas of insulation to choose wool or not to put into your homes. No, the government must be involved. It's a very, very different uh, approach. And you see too with this particular bill, Mr Speaker, an understanding of the importance of removing regulation and you see that around things like tax duty. Yeah, it's a small amount. Even in total, it's only about $4 million a year. But this is a government committed to removing stumbling blocks, be they large or small, to make it more efficient for New Zealanders to do business in order ultimately to look after their families. And that's another element that we looked at in the first bill around this budget debate. So I commend this bill to the House. Mr Speaker. Andrew Williamson.